What's up? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. What's going on? It's uh, it's Friday, June sixteenth. Yeah, I believe so. Anyways, it's Friday morning, bright and early. You can tell because you can hear it in my voice. It is earlier than usual for me, but anyways, it's around eight o'clock. Uh, on the way to the radio station right now with my friend Box Travis Westbury and uh, Dr. Keith Wickheiser, which is Travis's brother, and uh, we're heading. Over, I'm heading over there to meet them this morning. Because uh, they're going to be on the radio this morning around 8, no, 9, 9.15. So uh, that'll be kind of cool at 98 Rock. Yeah, or uh, I think it's 105.5, their, their other station. So uh, we're going to be going uh, live this morning. So let's, uh, let's get the vlog started and let's see how it is at 98 Rock this morning. Let's do it. So it's uh, it's the bridge 105.5. That's the channel. I'm just listening it on. I usually listen to 98 Rock in the morning, but again, it's the bridge. It's their other station. So, anyways, <laughs> let's see what that's all about. But um, yeah, anyways, the box just got done talking on the radio, and uh, super cool guy. His name's Richard, and uh, I always enjoyed hanging out with the guys at the radio stations. Uh, you know, something about the radio station. I remember when I was a kid back in the day, it used to be called 96 Wave, and uh, we'll be passing where 96 Wave was many years ago when I was a kid, but I remember I lived in the neighborhood like kind of back there behind 96 Wave, and I remember as a kid us riding our, all of our us friends riding our bikes up to the radio station, and we used to climb up onto this trash can they had, and at the back of the radio station, they had these windows, okay? These, not just your regular windows though, they were kind of like whatever these plexiglass looking rectangle type windows and we would climb up on the trash can and look into the radio station DJ recording booth area while they were live on the radio and stuff. And uh, every once in a while the guys off 96 Wave would, would come out and say what's up to us. So I thought that was kind of cool. Alright, so we're heading to the radio station as I told y'all just a few minutes ago. And uh, you know, a lot of times radio stations are in kind of areas that are just kind of hard to find or uh, you know just kind of in the nook and crannies of little towns and things like that you know they'll fit a little radio station wherever they can so um, anyways 98 Rock yeah it's right around here this is called South Windermere um, when I was a kid that used to be a Belks over there and uh, this is like the little the little spot, you know, the Avondale, kind of a hipster area in a way. It's really cool, just, you know, anyways, I like it. I like the feel of Avondale. But again, this is called South Windermere. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be turning into the left here in the radio station. If it hasn't moved in the last few years, it's right back, back there. So let's go find it. All right, so we made it. Yes, we did. All right, we made it. And as every good camera guy, I always got lots of camera stuff. You know, we're going to record Travis and his brother on the radio doing a little talking this morning. So let's see how it goes. Oh, my Lord. Look who it is. <laughs> we're here. We're at the rock. What's up, dude? Good morning. Good. All right, I'll cut this off for a minute. Give the box a second. <laughs> Travis Westbury, who we know, this Travis Westbury general manager. You know. <laughs> Travis is my new best friend. That's right. He just asked me if I was in school. I thought she was still in I college. Love you, Travis. Right? Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, and, and then partnering up with the folks at Acuity Dental, and the uh, story is very interesting and helped fill it out how the chocolate and the peanut butter got together. Well, it's uh, uh, Doctor Doctor Keith is here as well. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's nice to have you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Cut you off. No, no, no. I was just going to plug your website. <laughs> 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 you go ahead. No, no. It's, it's no. Dentistry. 
ACUITY.com, A-C-U-I-T-Y, dentistry.com, and as soon as I go to the website, I go, cleaning, exam, and x-rays, $99. Can't be done. Uh, especially like we were talking about, if you haven't been to the dentist in a while, mm -hmm. I mean, this is a good way to see where you are. That's right. That's right. And, you know, the thing is, is you, you come in, that's full x-rays, exams at $99, and a lot of people have the fear, <clears> that, you know, they can't afford dentistry or, or in fear of what it's going to cost, and this takes a lot of that fear away. You know, gives them an opportunity to get in, get healthy, get it checked out, and have a beautiful smile. So. Now, I see something about an emergency exam. So let's see, it's not, it's worse than ah, Ambisol. You know, let's let's say you got a cat popped loose or you broke a tooth and now you got to have something done immediately about it. Or, you know, you still won the street fight, but you got, you know, <laughs> you got a little, you got a little roadhouse tooth knocked out action, you know, and they got to bring it to you in the water and whatever. So emergency exam, I need you right now, doc. Yeah, any problem you have, come on down. We'll check it out and uh, tell you tell you what we need to do. And uh, explain it clearly. It's awesome. And it's a dollar. One dollar. One dollar. How does that work? What's the catch? There's no catch. If you're in pain, come in. Let's figure out what's going on and let's uh, let's let's get you out of pain. Like I said, a fear with a lot of people is simply one thing. I can't afford it. You know, and we want to take that fear away. So. I mean, I think that uh, this is going to be better than tying a string around the tooth, <laughs> and, right? This is a, this is better, right? Well, they, they, they always work too. Right? <laughs> well, good dentistry is a really big part of your overall health care because things like gum disease can lead to other things in your body. Gingivitis, <laughs> or the cavity creeps. We make holes in teeth. We make holes in teeth. Well, uh, you know, we've come up with a new tagline. We're now, we're, what, what was the last one we said? Uh, if you like your teeth, come see Dr. Keith. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well, if your smile and your tongue looks like it's in jail, maybe you should see the folks at Acuity Dental. AcuityDentistry.com is where you can find out more online. A-C-U-I-T-Y Dentistry.com. You can also call 261-2001. If you go to the website, you can fill out a new patient registration, so you get some time when you get to the office. Absolutely. You can avoid the clipboard thing, which always stinks because I'm a left-handed person, and this world is not built for left-handed people. <laughs> but yet, I just live my life. I have to have the lefty scissors with the green plastic on them. It's, it's a nightmare. But I hear we're supposedly smarter than right-handed people. Uh, they did not uh, have me <laughs> in the in sample survey. study, okay? <laughs> that was a good time. Hey, that was awesome, man. Hey, Paul, we appreciate oh, it. Oh, thanks a lot, man. Thanks, thanks, a lot. thanks for having us down here. Thank you. That's all right. Good. We'll see you all later. All right. Take thanks. Care. All right, just got out of the radio station. That was pretty fun with Travis and Keith and Fox and all of them and Jesse B. But um, we're going to head over to this three birds, three little birds, and have something to eat real quick. And, uh, yeah, then... We'll get the rest of the day started, heading over to the dentist's office today. Something a little different, no car videos today, but we might be able to squeeze a few in. But uh, for the most part, three little birds, looks pretty cool. How was the food, ladies? Very good. Awesome. Yeah, kind of in the cut back here. This is probably going to be really good. So uh, let's walk in and see what's going on. Yeah. All right, as you see, I ate my food up real nice, but this right here is looking real good. How about that? Mm -hmm. This is some good food here. With the three little birds. All right, back on the road. So, you know, today, you know, usually my Fridays consist of car videos, but today, my friend Travis, that's a uh, CFO of Acuity Dentistry and Orthodontics, he uh, he was the general manager at the Volkswagen store with me for the last couple years. Then he transferred over to the Honda dealership and was a GM there for about a year. And then Travis left and went to work at uh, with his brother in the dentistry orthodontics business. So anyways, had a good time at the radio station, but now we're heading up to Acuity in Somerville. And yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna do some uh, video with one of the dentists up there that they just hired. So uh, that's kind of what's going on today. Wanted to uh, quickly just say thank you to everyone that uh, watches my car videos on my channel. You know, I'm really, uh, just over the last few months here, things have really been great. Getting a lot of feedback from y'all on the car videos. Y'all let me know what you like, what you don't like. And, uh, and yeah, and y'all ask questions and tell me things. And that stuff is so important, okay? I'm learning from what y'all have to say. Maybe hopefully y'all are learning a few things with, with me. But um, these vlogs that I'm trying to do a little bit each day, 
uh, this is going on the channel so I am trying to even get engaged with y'all with y'all just a little bit more so again thank you for being a subscriber and a fan of Charleston car videos so uh, alright let's head over to the dentist's office all right, before, before we head over to the dentist's office, we want to run into Stokes Honda real quick, see if the new Civic SI came in. I mean, again, we got them allocated to us. We got a, a black on black SI that should be here any day now, and then we have a Type R Civic that's also coming in. So I uh, want to see if they got those at the Honda store before we uh, head over to our next location today. And uh, yeah, and then of course, got to get a five hour energy. Yeah. All right, so I was told the black on black SI Civic is here at the dealership. Let's see if we can find it. Um, from what I was told by the sales guys, it just arrived this morning. So uh, yeah, let's see if the Civic SI is here on the lot. If it came in this morning off the truck, I doubt that it will be already on the front line out here. That's looking good, that red one. Oh yeah, that's looking good. We got a nice selection. There's a black touring. Again though, that's not a, these aren't SIs or a Type R. These are your regular Civic. Civics and uh, they look good, don't they? Beautiful car. I'm liking this red here. I mean really sporty. I like how they got the flags up on the cars. That looks nice. Oh Yeah, everything flows so nicely at a Honda store with the blue and all the bright colors Again, that's not the Civic SI or the Type R but um, It is the Sport, okay? 2017 Civic Hatch Sport and uh, that one comes out to be 22 22,975 for a Civic Sport. Let's go find the Civic SI because it's it's got to be here somewhere, and we're gonna find it right now. All right, so as we always do, we like to kind of look through the shop before I start hunting down on the street, and uh, yeah. Not in the shop. Let's see if it's down the road behind the uh, Piggly Wiggly. All right, so we're gonna we check the shop. Not in there. The service manager says, "Chad, it's it's down the road behind the uh, Piggly Wiggly back there behind those gates." So when the truck driver comes, that's where he drops them off at. So that's where we're going right now. We'll see if the SI is down there. If it's not down there, then uh, my journey pretty much will end here for the day because I gotta gotta head on to the next spot. But um, let's hope it's down there. All right, we're in the, uh, the place where all the cars are that we can't keep on the front lines at Honda because we just don't have enough room. I mean, look at all those Hondas back there. It's a massive amount. So anyways, let's, let's, let's hunt down this black on black Civic SI. I mean, I'm looking. Let's go ahead and switch the camera view around a little bit. There's a black one, but is that the SI, right? Looks like it, but not. That's a sport. You know, there's gotta be something about the SI Civic that really uh, stands out a lot more than just your sport package one. It's a little bit tough to tell though, isn't it? Other than maybe finding like an emblem on it or something like that. But definitely it's a lot more aggressive. Like it wouldn't be this one, would it? No. Could it be that one? Maybe, I don't know. See, that's a touring package. Obviously the wheels on an SI Civic I would assume that's a sport touring okay so where is the actual SI if it came in off the truck today you would think it would have some plastic on it or something like that again not having a whole lot of luck down here um, I don't think this is it nope that's a sport and I mean there's so many of them Good gracious. But again, if it came in off a truck, I don't think it'd be just slapped in here with all these other ones. It's gotta be parked somewhere, you know, on its own. Anyways, we're looking. We are looking. And again, it's black on black. Where is the Civic SI? Huh. Well, aha. I think I know where it's at. Thinking it's on the other side over here where these uh, cars have all the stickers and wrappers on them, right? Here's a Civic. Let's see if we can find it. Is that the SI right there? That looks like a sport. I mean, yeah, it couldn't, definitely couldn't be the SI. It doesn't have any window tint or anything. Let's keep looking. 
There's another one. I'll tell you one thing though, that sport is looking sporty. Look at the ground effects on it, the wheels. Everything's kind of blacked out. I'm looking. These are so these are the ones that just came in. Okay, here we go. I think we're getting somewhere now. I think we're getting somewhere. Accord Civic 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 Man, I hate to put y'all through all this anticipation of the car and where it's at. But I'm not having much luck finding it. Am I? I mean, it's of course going to have an SI badge right on the front, so that's not it. That's not it. Where is it? Man. Alright, not have it. Man, I thought I was going to at least find it over there. I'm looking. About to give up so many cars in this parking lot again you know I looked in the shop it wasn't back there in the shop so most of your employees park kind of up front here all right I'm I'm just gonna say right now the Civic SI is not back here but I did see a big 18 wheeler truck and I mean you got four sales guys saying yeah it came in this morning anyways I'm the kind of guy that wants to put my hand on the car physically now a sales guy should be doing the same thing, but as we know, a lot of sales guys, they don't feel like getting up moving around like Chad does, right? So, uh, but when I was a sales guy and, and we had a Type R Integra come in at the Acura store or the TL Type S or something like that, I mean, I was out there doing what we're doing right now, hunting it down, and then I was on the phone calling my customers saying, hey, the car has arrived. Would you like to go ahead and come in and let's take it out for a test drive, you know, tomorrow or something. So anyways, all right, I'll do one more look while I'm pulling out of the parking lot here. And if I see it, I'll start recording. Oh, let me tell you, everybody talks about how they want to move to Somerville, South Carolina. Okay, Somerville. I mean, people, I mean, all these people move. Let's go to, let's move to Somerville, better school districts, all that. Well, let me tell you one thing, folks. I'm in Somerville right now and traffic is horrible okay I mean it's absolutely horrible I mean I get it it's 12 o'clock but I mean try driving around right around here by Main Street and where all the shopping areas are at and all that I mean it's congested um, I mean it's just it's stressful trying to even navigate around in Somerville here I mean sitting at freaking stop signs for five minutes I mean I'm trying to get somewhere and uh, I mean it, it takes forever to get there so uh, I'm definitely not a fan of uh, living in Somerville. I mean, I get it. Maybe you live in Somerville and think it's, you know, the best thing since sliced bread. But that, that ain't my deal. I'll tell you that much. All right. So Taylor is over there getting her teeth whitened. Yeah, okay, and what's cool about what Taylor's doing is that she has braces, and uh, from what I, what I was told today is that you usually can't get your teeth whitened when you have braces, but this new product that they have here at Acuity, you can do that with the take-home kit, so that's pretty awesome. Now, also, they have something where you can come in here same day and get your teeth whitened and be out within an hour, two hours, something like that, which is kind of cool. So maybe, just maybe, Mr. Chad might walk out of here with some white teeth. And if so, let's go ahead and take a look at before and after. So let me try to get up to this mirror and, um, and look. Let's see if I can zoom in on these teeth of mine. All right. Arr. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, let's look. At, man, it's hard to do that. Okay, hold on. Let me switch the camera view around. Okay, you can see this is not good. Okay, this is not this is not white. This is this is dingy. Okay, look at that. You see? Not the Taylor because she can hear me. And then all of a sudden they come up and they're like, <laughs> their mouth is like that. Um, <laughs> the, like the video with uh, Amber where she's talking. I remember how she did oh, yeah. with me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do my teeth look now? All right. See, this is before. See one? 
Light. You like that? <laughs> Good one. Do you have one next time now? The close up on Taylor. Taylor, mm -hmm. tell us how happy you are with your results. For a take home whitening kit, this is awesome. I already see results after the first time and you can use that for up to 10 days. So imagine if my teeth already look like this, imagine after 10 days. All right, everybody, thanks for joining in on the vlog. And uh, yeah, make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, like, and comment. I'll definitely be doing a uh, recap video on the teeth whitening and some of the stuff we did that day at the dentistry. But uh, yeah, definitely got more car videos coming up. I've shot a ton of car videos over the last week, and uh, I'm going to be releasing this stuff as I get it edited over the weekend. So anyways, thanks again. Make sure you uh, subscribe. Send me some comments. As you can see, the vlogs are getting better, and uh, as I keep doing this, I'll, uh, I'll get in the groove. So have a great weekend, everybody in Charleston and all over the nation. We'll see you soon from Charleston Car Videos.